Good evening, this is Channel 4 lead anchor Jonah Murray. Rosie McDonald. With some breaking news tonight. New cases of chicken pox are developing in Roslyn! You thought it was gone. You thought it was in the past. Well, you were fed lies. Chicken pox is back and better than ever. We now go live to St. Joseph's Medical Center with an overview of what is happening. Hello, my name is Sylvia Patel, MD. I graduated first in my class from Harvard Medical School, so I know what I'm talking about. Yes, this is the Vercellers Zoster virus that originated in the 18th century and is commonly misunderstood as the smallpox. So what exactly is this chickenpox virus for the viewers who don't know? Well, I just told you, it's a virus. Interesting, interesting. And how would viewers, how would our viewers be able to detect a virus like this? Well, typically rashes, rashes develop on the head and spread it to the rest of the body parts. And these rashes, how itchy are they? I mean, from a scale of 1 through 10, how itchy are these rashes? It's very itchy, and, and blisters may develop, and fever may arise. Interesting, interesting. And how would someone be able to contract this chicken pox? Well, this virus spreads through direct contact. Well, they already broke okay. it. We're going to display a diagram for our viewers to understand the logistics of how to contact the chicken pox. Contract. Contract. So I'm here. Here we see old Jimmy and Tina. Jimmy wants to say hi to Tina. And as he's approaching Tina, he touches her and then he runs away. And then what's happening to Tina? I think what's happening to Tina? Oh no! Chicken box! <laughs> and if someone's diagnosed, we're not naming names, but if someone's diagnosed, how would they be treated, diagnosed, etc.? Ew. Diagnosis and prognosis blood test results will show you that you have the antibodies. Your body will naturally protect you. If you do not have antibody, you will need to be monitored in hospital. And unfortunately, there is no known cure. But there is pain meds and tropical treatments, topical treatments for rash and blister. And to prevent it, get vaccinated. Everyone must get vaccinated because everyone is susceptible to it. Thank you so much, Sylvia. Yeah. Thank you for everything for it our viewers. Super helpful. You helped us. Yeah. Now, now, Rosa knows how to deal with the chicken pox. Okay, yeah. we're good. We're good. We good. Thanks to you, Sylvia. Hospitalization two to three for every one thousand healthy children and eight for every one thousand healthy adults. Death approximately 1 in 60,000 now, for, um, but from 1990 to 1996, an average of one, uh, 103 deaths each year pre-vaccine was common everywhere.